Have you ever been locked out of your PC or Mac computer and felt completely helpless about it? Well, here at My Computer Works, we actually handle this scenario quite a bit. And I wanna tell you what you can do if you find yourself in this situation. Now, before we talk about how you get back in, let's talk about how you got locked out, right? How did you get locked out in the first place? Well, the obvious reason is that maybe you forgot your password. Now, this does happen. There's no shame in it. Everybody forgets passwords. We're all human, right? So whether it be due to age and you just are getting up there and you can't remember your passwords or your pin or anything really, or you just maybe were, maybe were, maybe were just in the hospital, right? We see that one a lot. If you were just in the hospital, you maybe forgot your pin or password while you were in there because you had other things more pressing on your mind, like your health, right? Another one that we see a lot is people might put their devices into storage or just don't use the computer or the device for a long time. Then they pull it back out and they forgot the password, okay? So that's the obvious one, right? Forgetting your password can definitely happen and that's the obvious reason why you might get locked out of your computer. But the unobvious reason or the more mysterious reason why people get locked out of their computer and, and you might experience this, if it if it does happen to you, this is rare, okay? So before I tell you it, it's rare. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen, is that your software or the computer operating system itself actually has a glitch. Now, when this happens, it could damage or corrupt the files or the stored data that has your uh, passwords, right? So your, your passwords are stored in data files on the computer. Those files could become corrupt, damaged, or unusable by the operating system. And when this happens, you get locked out of your computer. Oh joy, right? As if it wasn't hard enough to prevent getting locked out by forgetting our passwords because we forget things, uh, our computer might have an issue and forget them as well, right? So this can actually happen. This is an, a real event. And usually if this event is going to happen or, you, or you're or you going to have this situation, it's going to happen after like an update or a major system change, okay? So uh, usually like you'll go to put in a Windows update, you, then that's when this will happen, okay? If it's going to happen, again, it's rare, doesn't happen often, but if it does happen, uh, it's usually gonna be after a, a Windows update or a major system update. Uh, if you're on Mac, a Mac update, things like that, okay? So now if this happens, uh, again, this is going to be a situation where you go to try to sign in and you are sure of your password and your PIN number not the, la the the previous situation we talked about where you just forgot it, but in this situation, you know it. You're like, no, I know my password, I know my PIN, and you're still using it and still not taking it. Well, that could be the uh, this other situation that we're talking about where the computer actually has a problem and forgets that information or that information is corruptible, uh, corrupted or unreadable, excuse me, corrupted or unreadable. So if that happens, let's try a couple things. So let's start the troubleshooting, okay? So we're locked out. Let's start troubleshooting. Step one, what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the computer. No, I know, reboots, techs and the reboots. We talk about this all the time, but it does it does fix a lot of issues. You'd be surprised. Reboots, it's like the magic fix. It can actually fix a lot of issues. So try the reboot first, okay? Whether you're on Mac uh, or a Windows computer, go ahead and try to reboot. Now, if you're in the sign-in screen, you should still see the little power icon down in the bottom right, okay? Uh, try to do a soft reboot or a reboot from the user interface by going to that power icon and choosing restart, okay? If you're on Mac, you can usually do control, command, and power off of the keyboard, which will reboot the system. Uh, Microsoft, you know, if you're using Windows computer, um, gonna be similar control alt delete find that power icon and reboot but uh, usually from the sign in screen you will still have the option to restart or reboot so you could just do it from there which might be the best way to do it okay so now you've tried to reboot what if that doesn't work okay well let's go to the next thing because that might not not do it the reboot doesn't always do it uh right off the bat again we like to say it's a magic fix but it doesn't fix everything so in this situation the reboot might not do it for you. That's okay, let's go to the next step, okay? Now the next step would be trying to reset your Microsoft account password, or if you're using a Mac, you're gonna reset your Apple ID password, okay? 
Because uh, you might not remember, but when you set up your computer, whether it be a Windows computer or a Mac computer, you have to tie an account to it. So if it's a Windows computer, you have to tie a Microsoft account to it. If it's a Mac computer, you tied an Apple account to it. You might not remember doing this when you set it up, but you probably did, okay? Because it's usually required uh, or hard to skip past, at least on the initial setup. So if that's the case, maybe the password you're using is actually your Microsoft password or your Apple ID password. Man, that might be what you're using to get in. So what you could do is, let's say you're using a Windows computer, you would go to another device, like another computer, phone, tablet, whatever. You would go to Microsoft.com, sign in, reset that password. If you don't know the password, you can reset it. If you know it, you can use it to sign in, get in there, reset your password from the settings. Same is true with the Apple account. If you know the password, use it to sign in, reset your password. If you don't know it, reset it. Use this new password on the computer, try that. That might let you sign in or for Windows computer, a lot of times if it's like the pin number you're having an issue with, they'll have a reset pin option, but you will need a working Microsoft password, account password to be able to do that, okay? So that is going to be the next step. So if the reboot doesn't solve it, we're going to reset our Microsoft password if we're using a Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, you would reset your Apple ID password and then use that new password to either get in or get to the next step of like resetting your pin for Windows, okay? That would be step two. Step three, if that doesn't work, is going to be a bit more complicated. This is where things get pretty technical, okay? So you need to boot your device into safe mode, okay? Now, right off the bat, that can be trouble for some people if you've never done that before. Each, um, you know, Windows and Mac have their own way of booting into a safe mode. Windows devices a lot of times will be like holding shift while you restart or the F8 method, they call it. Um, you can look that up, how to boot my device into safe mode. You could lo look up your specific device, how to boot it into safe mode. Once you get into safe mode though, we wanna open up the command prompt, which we've been talking about more and more in past videos. And we're gonna type the following command for Windows, it would be net user administrator slash active colon yes okay now this will activate the hidden admin account password which will allow you to then reset your password now mac has a similar command that can be used from terminal uh, reset password much simpler than the windows one um, and you can use that to do the same thing okay now there's multiple steps on this um, unfortunately i didn't have any devices i'm locked out of so i can show you parts of this uh, but if you're having trouble with that, you could look up more online or always reach out to us here at My Computer Works, which might not be a bad idea. And I'll tell you why uh, in a second, because I'm going to not only uh, have I wanted to lay out these troubleshooting tips for you, but now I want to get into how to prevent this situation from happening to you because it's not a fun situation to be in. And there's no guarantee that even the troubleshooting that I've provided um, will work. And I will, I do want to mention that the command prompts commands that I mentioned, I'm going to put down in the description. So please go check those out. If you are a bit of a technical whiz a little bit, you could get in a safe mode, go to your command prompts and then try, uh, the command that I have down in the details. Or if you're on Mac computer, you would try it from your terminal. Uh, but if, again, if you're not a tech savvy person and you're not into advanced troubleshooting that's not for you please reach out to my computer works numbers at the beginning the end down in the description and let's talk about now let's talk about how to prevent this from happening to you at all because that would be the ultimate situation or how to easily fix it with having by having a contingency plan uh, which i'm going to talk about here in a second but let's talk about all of these, what if all of these methods fail, okay? Because that is possible, right? Like all of this stuff is is, is uh, failable, right? None of it's perfect. Um, it's all fallible. It could all fall apart in front of your face. So what to do when that situation occurs? Because I would hate to see somebody in that situation because usually what that means is data loss. Oof, we don't like data loss. Data loss is bad. Uh, data loss means you're losing pictures, documents, things that matter to you on your computer, right? So we don't want to see that. So let's talk about backup, okay? Backup is basically the greatest contingency plan that you can have 
on the computer in case this situation ever happens to you or you find yourself completely locked out because if you get locked out completely and none of the troubleshooting we just mentioned works and you can't get back in, you're gonna have to reset your device back to factory defaults, okay? Now we've talked about this in past videos, right? Like backing up your system and wiping and re-OSing, okay? So if you already have a backup method in place, like let's say you have a cloud backup, like the one here at My Computer Works, which is managed by us, it's running all the time, which is two important things you wanna see with your backup. You wanna have it running all the time. You want it managed either by yourself or somebody that you can trust, okay? And you want to make sure that it's grabbing everything every day if it can, okay? At least everything new, okay? So that's what our cloud backup does. You need to try to find yourself something that, you know, if, if you're gonna go with ours, perfect, you're set or if you're gonna go out on your own, have something that backs up every day and you're positive that it's getting all your files, okay? Because if you have that, well then, if you find yourself in this situation, you can just wipe the computer and restore your data from whatever cloud backup you had set up. So you won't be hurt at all. You'll be able to get right back moving again. So definitely consider cloud backup as the, the insurance or contingency plan you have on your system in case you get locked out of the PC. Okay, so I hope the troubleshooting tips though do help anybody who finds themselves in this unfortunate situation. Maybe you didn't know about our backup until today and you're coming to this video because you were locked out of your computer and you couldn't get back, to, back in. I hope one of the troubleshooting steps that I previously mentioned works for you. And if it did, please leave a comment and like and subscribe while you're down there. If you're locked out and you can't get back in, if you're still locked out, contact us like i said phone number beginning into the video down in the description this is something we see all the time and we help people out with all the time so please reach out to us we'll help you out with it thank you everyone and please like i said like and subscribe before you go see y'all on the next one